So I was scrolling the other day and I came across this post and the post stated, if you are a Christian, these are the things you need to stop doing. And it listed a whole bunch of things like cussing, having sex outside of marriage, thinking about sex, listening to secular music, going to worldly places. And it was, it was awesome. And now I'm about to say something. Y'all don't cover me in the comments. By no means am I condoning sinful behavior, but the post concerned me. And this is why it concerned me is because I have noticed a trend in the way that the body of Christ communicates specifically across social media platforms. I am concerned that if we are not careful, we will promote self-fixing behavior opposed to spirit-led living. If you are like me, you are definitely a believer. You love Jesus, but you struggle in your flesh. We all struggle in our flesh. I just want to point that out. I want to make that very clear. No matter where you are on the spectrum, if you've been living for God for a long time, or you just new to this, this thing with Jesus, I'm telling you right now, as long as you live in this called an earthly body with a flesh that is sent, signaled off by sensation and all that stuff like that, you are going to have an all out struggle and war with your flesh. But fear not. There's good news, okay? I had to pull out the big boy today. You feel me? I had to pull out that that thing. You did the big one, and this is the good news Bible translation. Uh, the GNT. I like it. And here's the thing. This is my. This is how you know I'm I'm extra saved, okay? Because. I got highlighted scriptures in my Bible. So I don't know what y'all doing. Anyway, pull up with me to Galatians chapter five, verse 16. Very popular scripture if you grew up in church, but I'm about to help you with your struggle with sin. Okay, I need you to understand something. Uh, it's not about stopping. It's about surrendering, okay? I'm, I'm gonna lay it out like this. Galatians chapter five, verse 16 says this. What I say is this, let the spirit direct your lives and you will not satisfy the desires of the human nature. Verse 17, for what our human nature wants is opposed to what the spirit wants. And what the spirit wants is opposed to what our human nature wants. These two are enemies, the ops. And this means that you cannot do what you want to do. Verse 18, we're gonna stop right here. If the spirit leads you, then you are not subject to the law. I'm gonna close this right here, put the weapons away. You feel me? Cause it's real strong in here. What is Galatians 5, 16 through 18 telling us? If you are led by the spirit, if you are directed by the spirit, if you allow the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit to lead your life, you will not satisfy the desires of your human nature, AKA your flesh. The reason I wanted to bring this up is because as we are walking in this life and as we are journeying with Jesus, what I want you to do is understand that this war or this sin struggle, it's not about stopping sin as much as it is about surrendering to the spirit. If you are struggling in this, in a sin cycle, I want you to ask yourself, have I surrendered this to God fully? Have I surrendered this craving, this desire to the Holy Spirit? Have I allowed the Holy Spirit? Have I asked him to help me see the way he sees concerning this area of my life? Because what I don't want you to think and what I don't want you to do is try to go out on an all out warfare journey against sin in and of yourself. Let me tell you this right quick. This might be breaking news to some of you. You are not strong enough to defeat sin. You are not strong enough to overcome sin. In and of yourself, you are not strong enough to overcome sin. You, me, him, her, them, they, us, none of us are strong enough in and of our own selves to overcome sin. And this is part of the gospel is the beauty of it is because we have the Holy Spirit, the same spirit that rose Jesus up from the dead is the same spirit that lives in us according to Galatians. And here's what I want you to know. 
is that you do not have to fight sin by yourself because Jesus has already overcome sin. The word of God says this, is that Jesus overcame every temptation and was faced with every temptation, but did not sin, which means our victory over sin or the struggles of sin that we have is found in Jesus. If you want to experience victory over that sin, then all you have to do is jump into Christ. This is why the word says also those who are in Christ are made a new creature and there is no condemnation in Christ to those who are in Christ because there is no sin in Christ. So our job is not to try to get out of sin. Our job is to live completely surrendered and submerged and in the spirit of God and in Christ. You don't have to focus on trying to get out of sin when you focus on living in Christ. Our focus today should not be, how do I get out of this sin? Let your focus be abiding in the one who overcame all sin for you. The word of God says it clear. Galatians 5, 16, walk in the spirit, live directed by the spirit of God, and you will not fulfill your human desires. You're going to have desires, okay? As long as you live in this natural body, you're going to crave things. You're going to get horny. You're going to get angry. You're going to want to cuss people out. You're going to want to slap people. You're going to want to, you're going to want to do all the things that your flesh wants to do. But check this out. When you say, you know what, let me get in the spirit. Let me just abide in the Holy Spirit. Then that's the supernatural power that we find to overcome sin in the spirit of God. So here's the thing. Don't worry about stopping sinning. Just worry about surrendering to the Holy Spirit. Say, and this is how we do it. We're going to pray this prayer real quick. Say, Holy Spirit, you know that we are human. And you know that we have a human nature called the flesh that always wants what is opposite than what your Holy Spirit wants. And so today we surrender to you. We ask you to lead us and guide us in every single area that our human nature and our flesh wants to dominate and lead us in. We want, we surrender control over to your Holy Spirit, Father God. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to lead and guide us. And by doing so, we put ourselves in positions of victory over the sinful nature, over the human nature, over our flesh. It's Holy Spirit. We surrender to you. And uh, we ask you to help us, lead us, and guide us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Woo! That was a good one, y'all. I love y'all. Till next time. Gang. Have a great day.